What is up guys? It's Tim and we're back talking about something new. Something that I don't like. Imagine that. Something I don't like in Black Ops Cold War. Today we're talking about aim assist. Aim assist is a huge deal in Cold War. I, I mean, if you've played it, if you're playing on controller, you know how strong it is. If you're playing on PC, you know how strong it is against you because you are being melted on. Bruh. Well, at least for me. I mean, granted, everyone's opinion, everyone's experiences are obviously different. For me and most of the people I've talked to, controller aim assist seems to be very out there, very strong. I, again, this could just be me. Maybe if you're on controller, you're thinking PC Master Race is still, you know, crazy fast or crazy OP or whatever, whatever might be the case there. But I'm gonna show you a clip that I found on Reddit and it's no doubt going to prove that controller aim assist is out of this world this year. It's out of this world. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. And you're going to see it right here. You can't deny it anymore. You, you can't hide it anymore. We have definitive proof that you controller players. And I say you because I'm no longer one, even though I, I kind of wish I was because I suck on PC. But you controller players are now living on recruit difficulty because of this aim assist. And I'm hoping that they fix it. I'm hoping that they do. But, you know, before I get into more of it, let's just let's just show you what I mean. All right, so as you guys saw, it was a very quick clip, but it shows how far and how much the aim assist drags for, you know, random players. It's just, you lock on to people, you know, if they move, you're being helped so much onto their bodies. It's ridiculous. It's very strong. That's just a minor clip. There's plenty of clips where I'm shooting someone on my mouse and keyboard, and you know, I get it. I'm bad on keyboard and mouse. I'm bad on PC, okay? I get it. I'm new to the game. I'm new to shooters on PC. I understand it'll take a while to get some real kills, but at the same time, this controller aim assist, guys, come on, man, this this ain't cool, guys, this ain't cool. Now, I do think Treyarch is going to fix this. I, I think Treyarch is working on this. I don't think they're going to let this slide when the actual game comes out because I can't imagine people buying it. You know, I, I really want to hope that they address it because as of right now, it's Sunday night and they haven't said a thing about aim assist. So I'm hoping that they at least address the aim assist situation that's going on in Cold War. Now, now, the reason why I think they might not be is because not everyone is experiencing this and only the people who are vocal on like things like Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, you know, comment sections, things like that. Only these kinds of people are actually, you know, noticing it and noticing enough to talk about it. You know, maybe, you know, your friend here and there that you play on the weekends with, maybe he'll notice it. But, you know, casual fans, casual gamers, they're not going to really notice this big change or anything like that. They're just going to be like, oh, it's, it's pretty easy or, oh, it's pretty hard, depending on if they play on console or PC. See, right? It's pretty self-explanatory there. Before I go on, I do want to ask, do you guys think it's it's true? Do you think aim assist is too easy or too strong rather on controller? You're, you're going to notice in this gameplay sometimes, uh, yeah, I'm bad on PC. I miss my aim quite often, but you'll also notice that I get melted on easily. Like people don't miss, people just easily lock on my body. It's, it's insane. I don't watch many kill cams, but I mean, next time you play the beta, next time you hop on, which, which I think the beta is still going on at the time this video goes up. But if it's not, I mean, hopefully you, you did notice, or hopefully you see some clips, including the clip I just showed you that, yeah, aim assist is crazy. And the reason why I don't think this is going to be the case is because most betas, in most Call of Duty betas, at least I should say most, I'm not going to say all. Yeah. In in most Call of Duty betas, they end up fixing these kinds of things. They end up changing it so it's more fair, it's more balanced, and Treyarch being Treyarch, they are the ones who tend to listen to the community more so, right? Like Infinity Ward, I mean, look at Modern Warfare. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say. Look at Modern Warfare, how much it did or did not change from beta. and. Like I said, there's not a whole lot to change there. Something else I wanted to bring up in this commentary is face sensor. I was thinking about making an entire commentary, but I'm just gonna stick it at the end here. My man sensor, I, I think he was on a bunch of Kai teams or something. This dude has been tweeting out about how Call of Duty is back every single year since World War II. And there's a collection of tweets. I showed it on Twitter and uh, I'm, I'm gonna have it here as well on screen. But essentially you can see not the hypocrisy, but just the overall like fake hype, the overall just like uh, not like ingenuity, the, the fake, you can just see the fakeness of him. Just the fakeness of like, oh, this year COD's back. This time COD is for real back. This time I'm gonna be great at COD again. And then you come back like, you know, a few months later down the line and he's trashing it or he thinks the game sucks or he's just not playing it anymore. You know, like there's always something. I get it. He's trying to, you know, drum up hype on the game. He's trying to get people to, you know, watch him again, things like that. 
Uh, but I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. This is why I didn't want to make an entire commentary on it. I feel like people like this are, I don't know, either they're delusional, either they're just really sick of, you know, the COD every single year and they just want the next one and they're willing to take the next one regardless of how good or bad it actually plays. As of right now, I mean, if you want my honest opinion, Cold War is a very difficult game on PC. Not just because I'm, you know, bad and new on PC, but I think because the aim assist. The aim assist favors controller players so much. I think I briefly mentioned it in a previous video, uh, but I plugged a controller on my PC and instantly got a 2KD. Instantly. The gameplay you're watching right now, I don't even have a 2KD, and this is one of my better games on PC. Like, I'm just saying, it's extremely difficult. It's very hard to be good on PC. I'm, I, I don't understand why. A lot of my PC friends who've been playing on PC for years and years, they're not doing bad, but they're, they're noticing, yeah, I'm not doing as good as I normally would be uh, on something like Modern Warfare, maybe Black Ops 4 even. Now, this isn't to discredit controller players, especially good controller players. I'm not saying, hey, every controller player is, uh, uh, basically have aimbot like i'm not that naive i'm not that ignorant okay like i get it people are good on controllers i'm way better on controller than i'm on pc that doesn't mean just the aim assist is broken people are good on controller people can be good it's not just because people have a pc they're automatically good look at me i'm a prime example of that but I just wanted to bring this to Treyarch's attention, and maybe Activision. I don't know exactly who. But hopefully Treyarch. I wanted to bring it to the. I wanted to bring this to their attention because I just don't want this to be in the full game, man. I I don't want it to be. Like literally, this is gonna suck if it's in the entire game. I'm going to be. <sighs> I'm very disappointed. I'm gonna be super disappointed if this is in the game. I might just play controller all year because. I, I can't do I can't deal with it. I cannot aim with the mouse on this game. Another thing about it that hurts this is the visibility, dude. The visibility on this game is so rough. It's you can't see anything. Like exclusive ace made a video. He took like two screenshots and he's like, find the enemy. And I'm like squinting at my phone while I'm watching this. <laughs> I'm squinting. I'm like, uh, is he there on the left? And then he's like, he zooms in and he's like right in front of him or something. Like the visibility in this game is awful. It's awful. People blend in the backgrounds. There's no like contrast between people standing out in front of, like between them and the backgrounds they're on it's awful the lighting's bad the shading's bad like there's the contrast like the maps themselves look fine but when you have people just like with dark suits tan suits standing in front of like tan backgrounds dark backgrounds like you can't see people like you're literally squinting like i'm i'm literally having to like turn my brightness all the way up i got like, my like, render settings pretty turned up as well which is pretty bad for your game honestly like if you want higher frames you should turn your render off but i have to turn it on more to see people and i just can't i mean that's kind of a separate rant for a separate day but i mean i, I think you guys will admit that the visibility is something to be desired for in cold war uh but that's basically going to do it for the video i i think i don't have anything else do i have anything else let me check let me ask myself real quick do do i have anything else tim mm, no not really but with all that being said, I do appreciate you guys for watching. I do appreciate the support on the recent videos. We have been growing again, a little slow-ish uh, recently, past like month or two, but we are growing again. We are on the right track back to growing. Hopefully we hit 2K by 2021. That is my goal. Hopefully you can help me out with a subscription and a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, like I just said, and follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Good job, DJI. Return to base for debrief.